shopping. Shopping? Shopping. <laughs> okay, back to the base. No, we're gonna go install Mila while we're out here. Oh, okay, so Mila. Might as well do something semi-productive today. Why? Helping out submarine man wasn't productive? No. You know what I just realized about this Mark 23? What up? I'm, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't notice it for earlier. Hmm. Apparently it just fires on double action. Like the hammer is just forward. The hammer should be all the way back. I'm, I'm not shooting this thing on, on double action. I don't want to shoot it on double action. Double action is stupid. And they never made a version of the Mark 23 with the LEM trigger. Gonna have to write Bethesda about this one. No, no it's, I'm gonna have to write the modder and be oh, like, that's... write the modder a fucking six page article talking about how <laughs> bad of a job he did modeling this Mark 23 SOCOM and how he should be ashamed of himself. I'm so upset with what you provided for me. Free of charge. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I don't know, nothing. Whoa, whoa, shut the fuck up a second. I hear something. Oh, legendary bug! Legendary bug! No, it's gonna kill us! The plutonium blowfly is our worst enemy! Why did that take so many shots to kill? Because it's plutonium! It's super duper ultra legendary! Oh boy. I gotta check out a super duper ultra legendary. Nope. Okay. Not even gonna look! Oh god, fine. Now I have to go check. Now I have to go check because it's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be a weapon that you actually wanted. The one time you don't check it, it's gonna be. It's brass knuckles! It's relentless knuckles! <laughs> God! We appear to be under fire. Ah, uh, yep, in the graveyard. Yeah, it may totally make sense if ghouls come out of the ground. Yep, they do that. They can claw their way up out of the ground. Most intriguing. That, like, that really cheeses me off that the ghouls come out of the ground. Oh yeah, is that bothering you? It, that really bothers- that really bothers me in zombie movies, too. Cause it's like, it's dead. The thing that's down there is fucking dead. It is inanimate matter. It has the exact same properties as the dirt that is around it, only it's made out of organic material. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. So how the fuck did that get infected with a virus and took the radiation turned them into zombies? And it's just like, fuck you. <laughs> Like, fuck you for writing that movie and writing that into the script. Uh, I hope you fucking die. <laughs> I don't normally wish death on people, but I wish death on people that write that into movies. Okay. Very harsh feelings. <laughs> if you wrote a bad movie script, you deserve death. <laughs> Today on Zach's Hot Takes. I don't actually, for the record, I don't actually wish death on people that wrote a bad movie script, but like... <laughs> but it's just like, good lord. Just like, think about these things before you, before you write them, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about this thing? Yeah. Slant. Oh, yeah, this monorail right here. There we go. Here we go. This is the way to get to it. Oh, this yes. is the way to get to it. This is actually the way to get to it. Ah! Time to slag yeah. another bot. Robot's been guarding this monorail for 200 years, eh? He's just been up here for 200 years waiting for someone to come to come up the monorail so he can be like, you don't have a ticket. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. There, there we go. Mila, Mila placed. I named this thing Mila to give it a personality. Also, I named a bunch of identical things Mila because... Because they, I, I don't actually want them to have personalities. <laughs> Deacon, the organization you work for is filled with morons. Hey, you. Hi. Randolph's safe house has been MIA since Switchboard. But now, we got one of their dead drops tagged. Oh, boy. Des wants you to check it out. That's your job, to check out dead drops. Not when it could be a big old trap from the Institute. Once you take care of the dead drop, report in to Des. Why don't you go take care of it now? Because I'm more important than you. Oh, Zach's taking out his aggression. I need to remember. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't look. Hey, look, we got me a lot. And dead drop is right there. Hey, there we go. It's in this mailbox. Mr. Tim's here. Randolph safe house was not hit, but do not make direct contact. Repeat. Do not make direct contact. We got three packages. Very scared packages here. Requesting assistance. Our oh. runner reports we got Gen 1's camp nearby. Assuming we're under surveillance. Please have a heavy clear the area. Coordinates enclosed. After, please pass our status back to Big D. Mr. Tim's out. So they want us to go to University Point and shoot since. We've already been to University Point, remember? Honestly, surprised University Point hasn't been uh, resettled. 
because uh, everyone's too scared to go back there again. I see. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. What is it? My lips got sunburned the other day. Yeah. Did you know that can happen? Well, your your lips are your skin. So. I didn't know that could happen. I had, I straight up had no idea that could happen. Yeah. I put sunscreen on everything. Didn't put sunscreen on my lips. By the end of the day, I was like, man, my lips are really chapped. Why are my lips so chapped? And then the skin started peeling off the next day, and I was just like, wow, I, I sunburned my lips. Ah, uh, I needed some chapstick. I, I thought that was a mirror for a second, and I was just like, <laughs> I don't remember putting on red <laughs> armory. <laughs> Who, who's a, who's got a 1.4? Jeffrey Roberts? Oh, uh, Jeffrey Roberts, you're dumb as hell. Uh, we've been in here before. Yeah, I don't see any Gen 1s. I miss Capital Wasteland. You can actually drink the water there. I didn't know that. You can drink the water here, too. It's radioactive, I wouldn't recommend it. These aren't Gen 1 synths. Hello? Ah, uh, now I hear some synths. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. I believe a sniper has found us. That is the right word, yes. Did you say I? Uh, I don't. I don't really have. I'm I think she got hit with a club and said, "I believe a sniper has found us." <laughs> Great. How many clips is it going to take to kill those things? Mags. How many mags is it going to take to kill those things? They're called magazines, Deacon. That really hurt. And this is why we can't have nice things. Because the sense, I agree, they must die. Terminating with extreme prejudice. Frickin' Heather making a bunch of synths show up at university point. <laughs> it's not her fault. It is a totally her fault. <laughs> they were like, we heard Heather was there, so we have to go there and make her life miserable. <laughs> is Drummer Boy gonna come running up and tell me that I have more things to do? Surprisingly, no, oh, not this I time. hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. Hey. Well, Randolph is still soon. operational? Oh, finally, some good news. We thought they were another casualty of the switchboard disaster, but Randolph's been dark for too long. It'll be controversial, but we have to put them under quarantine. Because they might have been infiltrated? The whole thing could be an institute trap, so instead we play it safe and slow. We help them out and buy time to verify they really are our people. Our only communication with Randolph <laughs> is going to be by dead drop. Check in periodically with Drummer Boy. He coordinates the dead drops for us. Yeah, and that very poorly, yes. Thanks. Oh, it's actually like right there, huh? There. Oh, yeah, it is. Dang. <laughs> Set up a weather vane two feet away. Yeah, yeah, okay. Go outside and chuck it out the door. <laughs> is it, uh, oh, this is a nice little billboard right here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Honey, I'm gonna pull your pants down. <laughs> Not in front of all these people. Jeez, there's a kid there. <laughs> Listen to that sweet ass. We're in public! It's fighting time. Look out, we have to set up a weather vane! Get out of here! Get moving! It's not dangerous. I'm a meteorologist! Like, I'm sure it won't take us to the correct spot, but we might as well see. Yeah. <laughs> It'll go down into the basement. Would not surprise me. What the? Oh, this has got music! Nice! <laughs> Are they all supposed to have this? Well, that one did. Oh, thank God we found our way here. And it goes right there. Plays the Mila right there on the vantage point. Bada bing! Lovely! We did it! Hey, look, a rifle. Cool. All, All right, right, let's find our way back down. Let's get the heck out of here. Don't worry, just let the soothing elevator music calm your soul. The soothing sweet sounds of music. Uh, uh, there we go! Textures didn't load. Ow! I like how this guy just fused with the, the garbage you can't when he died. Me. Yep. Alright, let's I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna head back home really quick. Okay. And there we store all of our stuff. This oh, is gonna cool. sound really yeah, dumb, but stuff. is it true you can fly? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Stupid question. Of course you can. No. <laughs> What the f I don't even know <laughs> what or who that was. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, go back and turn in this quest. Take your time, here we come. I got another site we could place another one of my babies. Yeah, fine, gimme. Or we could just do some business. Nope, I have no business with you. Hello. You need to hit the dead drops. Randolph's got a message for you. Yay, I actually have a quest to do. 
Yay, we don't have to do this one and we can go do an actual mission. Yeah, screw your radiant quest. Yeah. I'm tired of installing Mila's. Get back to me when it's a Mila Kunis. <laughs> ah. I found out that the morning dove that is in the nest outside of my apartment has two baby Oh, doves. yes. You I, said there was one the other day. I said I knew there was one, but there are two. It's because the mom keeps, like, you know, sitting on top of them, so it's really hard to tell how many there are. Yeah. Makes sense. That's pretty cool. You can see two baby pigeons being raised. Yeah. It's the same dev drop location. Cool. Why is it the same? Whatever. Because they're not very smart. I don't know how I reached in there and grabbed that thing, considering that that's a mailbox, and those are specifically designed so that you can't reach in and grab it. It was taped to the flap. Package one is ready for shipping out of the Commonwealth. But we got a problem along the route. If our guardian angel could clear the site, delivery can proceed. Mr. Tim's out. Are we gonna have to do that for all three of packages? Probably. Mm. Let's make our way away from the explosions. Lock and yes. load! Whoa! Oh, oh, nice ambush, nerd! Lock and load! He said, wielding a power fist. A glorified <laughs> brass knuckle. I want this one's head! You want my head? You can't handle my head. You want my head? Well, Molon Labe! Fun fact, if you see a Molon Labe bumper sticker, it means there's a free gun in this car. <laughs> Yep, just gonna go around with them. Are, wait, are these the people we're supposed to be clearing out? I... This is not Poseidon Energy. Poseidon. Let's go to Poseidon Energy. Yeah, let's clear that out. Oh, oh my god. Okay, well, let's just... You're out of your league, pal. Really? Am I really? That's what my girlfriend says. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I say that I'm out of my league when I talk to my girlfriend. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> this area cleared. Proceeding with search protocol. Oh, this area is clear? All right, great. Oh, we need to clear this place out. Ah, uh, you lied. There was a turret here, you liar. Wonderful. All right, we've cleared out everything down here. There's nothing else left. Hey, Des, how you doing? Got some good news. I heard Randolph got B811 out of the Commonwealth, in large part thanks to you. Who? You're proving to be a valuable addition to the railroad. I don't know how, but okay. My gut says Mr. Timms is exactly who he says he is. But Pam isn't convinced yet. Until she signs off, no direct contact. Why are you, why are you letting the copy machine dictate whether or not <laughs> you do missions? She's the boss, except everyone, including the doctor and the robot, has superiority over her. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. I'm These tired. I'm, I'm actually... Too much traffic through the church and we'll burn this hideout. <laughs> I'll burn this hideout. Oh. I will burn this hideout. We'll kill you all again. I will burn this hideout. Oh my god. All right. I'm actually going to take a nap in a coffin. Ooh, your patience is worn thin today. Uh, hopefully that brick falls out of the ceiling and crushes my head while I'm asleep. A lot of bad missions. <sighs> I see you've woken up. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scab. Oh, for God's sake, really? She just got rebooted. So what do you want to talk about? As much as I'd like to say in chat, I've hung out here long enough. With everything that's going on, we need more agents in the field. Uh-huh, sure, great. N nope, no, no, nothing else. Good luck out there. Nothing else. Right, well, you woke up on the wrong side of the crypt today. I don't like her hair. Give me this freaking thing. Be gone, Running but sense out of the well, if she breathes, a bigger problem. she does not! By the way, I did a bunch of Randolph safe house missions while you were asleep. Oh, thank God. Yes. So I don't have to do them anymore? I, I did the majority of them. Oh, great. All right, I will do another one. All and right. Then, and then, I'm sorry, I was yelling. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Speaking of my good ear. Hey, yo. Good work on Augusta. I'd rather know the hard truth than live in ignorance. It seems like you live in ignorance constantly based on how little you know about what your agents are doing, so. Pick up the dead drop for Randolph's safe house. You got it, Dez. Enjoy your decaf. Wow. I don't remember finding this. Good well, you have it. <laughs> I like how the suppressor is just this absolutely <laughs> giant fuck off thing. It contains all of the sound and there's a two, lot. Too, too be pedantic. 
<laughs> a Gauss gun would not need a suppressor because a Gauss gun does not use gunpowder or an explosion to fire the projectile. Hmm. So the only thing a suppressor could feasibly be doing would be slowing the bullet down to a subsonic speed, but then, like, why are you accelerating it and then slowing it down again? <laughs> you need to get to the exact perfect speed. But, I mean, even then, a subsonic projectile still makes a noise. It just doesn't make that supersonic crack. That's why it's called a suppressor, not a silencer. We're gonna rename this thing. I don't know. What are we gonna. Like, what do you wanna name this? Uh, Pussy Feathers. I still can't believe Dez assigned Shut up. you to our HQ. Shut up! Put simply, you Shut shouldn't up. be here. Shut up. Shut up. It isn't a question of competence. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It's a simple Shut matter up. of security. And I'm here now, so get bent. Since you're one of us now, might as well try to keep you alive. So kind of you to do your job. <laughs> I can see we'll be fast friends. Oh, yeah. Word to the wise. Be prepared to improvise. You may find your operational orders lacking. And now you have a problem with the way things are run. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> with an attitude like that, I'll be surprised if you last a fortnight. Good day. I'm surprised if you last a fortnight, mister. I'm not actually a doctor, but I think I am. Randolph here. Supplies are running out. Runner is getting cagey about the route. Damn. Can we get one last tack nuke from the heavy? Pretty, please? Once that's done, we'll move our last yeah. package. You're my hero. Okay. Mr. Tim's out. You're my hero. The, the you're my hero, he said, sounded like when you take the last donut ahead of someone, and they're just like, wow, you're my hero. Thanks for <laughs> saving me from that donut. Hey, did you ever know that you were my hero? You are the wind between my wings. I hate that song. <laughs> Do you like it more when it's in an uh, it's, it's better. Accent? I will say it's better like that, though. Yeah, you have you have improved the song by doing that. Cool. Like what? Why? Wow, that went like clear over him. There we go. Killed that demon dog for no real reason, but okay. Well, it's a demon dog. That's a reason. Just trying to live his life out here, be a normal demon dog, and you gotta come along and shoot him. Well, you know, uh, death to demon dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I fit. Uh, what? <laughs> it's one of those monsters that hides and ambushes from the trees, but because he's plutonium radiation, uh, he's kind of uh, giving his position away. <laughs> yeah, you're not real, really blended in. Well, okay, so I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt just because I am also a predator. I'm assuming that most of the time his prey doesn't really see in multiple colors. That's why tigers are orange. Did you know that? Ah, uh, yes, because yeah. their prey is red, green, color blind. Yeah. Let's go kill this thing. Another stranger. Uh, is it already dead? Oh, no, there we knocked it out of the sky. There we go. Oh, what are you doing? I was taking a nap, you son of a bitch. Oh, you dead fuck. bastard. Yeah, he was, uh, he was just hanging out in the tree. What, he, a, what a weirdo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't hang out in the tree, man. You're bright orange, idiot. It's kind of like we killed a firefly. It was just out here adding some ambiance to the night sky. Uh, I think we was going to eat somebody. But it might have been somebody we hated. So down here in the metro tunnels or something. All right. Oh, man, new Nuka Cherry. Never been a fan of Cherry. I didn't know there was new Nuka Cherry. I had weird cognitive dissonance because you have the same poster on your wall. So, like, <laughs> I saw the poster, and then it was, like, up there. And my brain was just like... Eh. <laughs> I don't even know why Nuka Cola advertises. They have a monopoly. There's no other competitors. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of stupid for them to advertise because it's like... There's no Nuka Pepsi. We got fun time yeah. incoming. The cement is like what's inside your head, yes? Uh, I guess that... Oh, boy. <laughs> didn't even see you charging it up. <laughs> Marvelous. Apparently that was one of the blind raiders. She's using a four... I'm going to use a suppressed 4570 government to just absolutely obliterate someone. Because as everyone knows, 9mm kills the body, but 45 kills the soul. And 50 cal kills the pancreas. And everything surrounding the pancreas. <laughs> I like how they didn't notice that. Whoa! That's a lot of gunfire! <laughs> Man, we should get out of this you narrow choke we'll point! You. Moldy food. <laughs> Curie just goes over there. It's like, this penicillin is good for you. <laughs> he starts eating. Curie, no! <laughs> My taste receptors are exploding. I like the way that the maggots are wriggle. 
Oh, that's disgusting. I, oh, that's kind of fun. Look at the They stuck on. They stuck. Cool they stuck balls. billiard balls in it. Oh, that's funny. Okay, everyone here has been killed. There's no one else left. We can walk out the door Someone freely. Except, no, it's, except, except for a few roaches. It's fine. We'll take care of them. <laughs> ah! What happened? Uh, you got what knocked, the? Ah! You got knocked back a little bit. What is that? Ah! <laughs> Help! Deacon! Deacon, stop! Deacon! <laughs> you got it. All what right. The Looks like he got to try out his new gun. Now, uh, that one was a trap. <laughs> I I knew there would. Oh, well, if I'd looked down, I would have seen it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm not smart, man. Whatever. We're gonna have to look down in the bathroom. Two ways to look into the crack of the stall to make sure the stall is unoccupied. You ever you ever go to the bathroom like and, and someone's in one of the stalls, so you just lay on the floor and like slide under the stall and be <laughs> no. like, hey man, you can you spare a square? No, come no, on. No, you never done that. No. Oh man. I'm glad Deacon got to try out his Repulsor 5000. Good lord, that thing is just like... I, I was very scared. <laughs> I have someone here who wants to meet you. So you're the famous bullseye. You huh? really saved our asses. Oh, I'm Mr. Timms. Everyone at Randolph owes you. Hey, it's you! Uh, is Randolph doing all right? No. We got orders to abandon it. We heard the bastards that took down Switchboard also got Herkimer and Allen. So they might have been closing on Randolph as well. You saw us through some really dark times. Well, we all pitched in together for this. My team's gonna be hunting for a new safe house. Knowing how paranoid my runner is, it'll take a while. Take care. Thank you very much. Mr. Timms is a survivor. He'll find a new home for Randolph soon enough. We've proven our dedication to the railroad. Yes, I'm dedicated. If a stranger ever comes up to you and gives you a back break and bear hug, that's our runner. She practically worships you now. She better not. He's got personal space issues. Yeah, I do. Tell her that's how she'll get elbowed in the face. Excuse me. I'm busy. All right. Fine. I want smoke This break. isn't the railroad's darkest hour. We will make it through. Use the back entrance. Too much traffic through the church and yeah, we'll burn this Timms. hideout. Thank you very much, Mr. Timms. Uh... We're off to bigger and better things! Yes! Off to do something else! Away we go! Well, that was a day. Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge responsibility. But we'll get the job done. I, you know, for a second, I really thought you were gonna say liberating, liberating the Commonwealth almost makes you wish for a nuclear war. <laughs> I really did think he was gonna say that!